it is section 1.8 linear transformations here we'll begin with an example a is on m by n metric and x is a vector in rn then their product ax is a new vector in rm for example if we choose a and x uh, in this way then uh, their product uh, this row, first row, uh, this column, uh, data product will make this first entry, and second row and the vector, uh, data product will be this second entry, and we can simplify in this way. Here the main thing is that uh, a vector in R3 is transformed into a new vector in R2. Uh, that means A transforms vectors to another space. Now uh, we'll define the transformation. A well, transformation T from Rn to Rn is a rule that assigns to each vector x in Rn a vector Tx in Rm. Uh, in this case, we uh, write in this way and x is from Rn, and Tx is its image in Rm. In this case, Rn uh, is the domain of T, and Rm is the codomain of T. And Tx uh, uh, is the image of x under the action T. The set of all images called the range of T. So here we define range in this way. Uh, transformation is a kind of a function, but it's defined from the Euclidean spaces, here Rn to Rm, rather than from real number to real number. Uh, uh, however, in any case, transformation is a kind of a function. Here pictorially, we can see uh, domain and codomain and range. Here Rn is the domain and Rm is a codomain and the collection of uh, images is range here. Okay. Uh, among transformations, uh, most interesting transformation is matrix transformation in linear algebra. Transformation associated with uh, matrix multiplication is matrix transformation. Uh, that means that the T transformation is defined as matrix multiplication. Uh, here A is on uh, M by N matrix. Uh, in this case, we write in this way T uh, domain and codomain and x on entry in Rn uh, here transformed into a vector in Rm in, with uh, the matrix multiplication. Uh, so that uh, eventually the range of T, so collection of these images as the set of um, uh, all linear combination of combinations of columns of A, because once you um, choose uh, X from Rn, then AX will be uh, a linear uh, combination. So for every X, if you collect the, uh, the images, then that will be the collection will be uh, linear combinations. So that eventually, the range of T is same as the span of columns of A. Okay. 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 Example 1.64. A is given in this way, and the transformation from R2 to R2 uh, defined by T of X as AX is called a sure transformation determined the image of um, square under T. Okay. 
the metric uh, transformation um, is a linear transformation. In fact, it's an affine mapping. Uh, this means that they map the line segment to line segments and corners to corner. So here, when we try to decide the image of some region on the T, then we may uh, try to check only uh, the images of corners, and then we can uh, figure it out. Okay, here. Uh, the domain is given in this way here, um, from 0 to 2, 0 to 2, so that that is image. Okay, that is, um, here. this point is now 0 and 0, and this point is x is 2, y equals 0. And then uh, that is now x equals 2, y equals 2, and this point is here x equals 0 and y equals 2. Right? So on the t, uh, we want to get um, the range. Okay. Now, so we have to decide the image of each corner point. Okay, let's begin with uh, uh, this one, yeah, 0, 0. Of course, if you multiply uh, 0 uh, here, A, and 0, uh, then it must be 0. Okay, let's say uh, this is a point 1, and that is point 2, and that is point 3, and now that is point 4. Then, uh, image of point 1 is this one, 0, 0. Okay. Now, how about uh, the point 1, uh, point 2? Okay, that is, okay, point 2. That is A and the second point, uh, which is given in this way. That is 1, uh, 3, and 0, and 1. There is the metric A. And then uh, the second point is x equal to y equal to 0. Right? Okay. That one will produce here. This row and column multiplication will be here 0, 2, and this one will be 0. So that the image of uh, the that uh, second point will be here, that one. That is now 2 and 0. Right. And how about the third point? Okay. The same metric. Uh, third point is now 2 and 2. So once we uh, multiply metric and vector, and then that will make 2 and 6. So that uh, that will be 8. Right. And then here, uh, 2, 2 will make that is 2. So the image of a third point will be x is 8, that is 8, and y equal 2 here. So that that is um, image of a third point. Right? And how about the, the last point, fourth point? The same a, and here x is 0, and y is 2. Okay, this multiplication will make here 0, 2, that will be 6, and 0, 2, that will be 2. So x is 6, now y is uh, 2. Okay, so that that is the fourth point. So if we connect this point, then that, and here go to third point, and fourth point, if we connect from the final point to the first one, then uh, it is a parallelogram. So the action of A makes this domain uh, to this shape, this image. So it is called sure transformation. It, it's uh, uh, simply pushed to right on the top portion and linearly. And so the solution is called sure uh, transformation. Okay. Okay.
Okay, A is given and U, B, C are given here and define transformation T from I2 to R3 by um, metric uh, transformation. Okay, find the TU, the image of U under uh, the transformation. Uh, it'll be quite simple. Just uh, simply, we uh, multiply A to U. So you can get it quite easily. Okay. Now, uh, for B, we have to find an X whose image under T is B. Okay. So that means that here for part B and T of X, okay, that must be the same as AX equal B. So the problem is asking to find uh, a vector x in R2 such that this equation is satisfied, which means that we have to solve this linear system. How? Uh, now we may uh, start with the uh, augmented matrix. Okay, so here A is 1, 3, minus 1. Second column is minus 3, 5, 7. And right side B is 3, 2, minus 5. Right? That is uh, the augmented metric. And we apply elementary row operations. Okay. So that the first row is same 1, minus 3, and 3. And second row by adding. By subtracting three times of the first row, we can make this one zero. So it's a zero, just a three times the subtraction. Now, your minus nine is subtracted, which results in 14. Now that is here minus nine, so that that is minus seven. Now, for this one, here adding. Addition will make a zero. Addition will make a here. That is four. And addition will make that one here now uh, minus two. Right? Okay. Here, that is if we scale, mm, we divide the row by seven, that will be two and minus one. Uh, for that one, divide by two will become 2n minus 1. So these two rules are essentially the same. So here from this one, and anyway, we have 1 minus 3 n 3. And that is same as uh, 0. And that is a 1 divided by 14. And that is minus half. Right? And then uh, essentially the same so that it will be zero by subtracting this row you can get zero row here now we have to finish uh, the computation by reaching at the reduced echelon form one and the three times addition will make a zero three times addition will make that is a three over two and uh, zero one and minus one half and zero, zero, zero. So that the answer for uh, the problem is this one, and that a vector. That is the uh, answer uh, x. Okay. Is there more than one x uh, whose image on the t is b? In part b, we found on x. Now it is asking more than one to get more than one solution here uh, we have to have a free variable but uh, these two are uh, already pivot uh, columns there's no free variable so for part c the answer is no determine if c is in the range of uh, the transformation t okay uh, let's see part D. Oops, I'll rewrite here. 
Okay. Okay. And C is in the range um, of the transformation T. That means that here, transformation is metric multiplication. So that if it is in range, then it can be written in this way. So A, along with the sum X, must be C. So uh, this uh, question is basically here is asking uh, the solvability, which means that and is asking if uh, this system is consistent. Uh, but uh, here, to check it, and we have to start with uh, exactly the same A here now, the augmented metric. Now, rather than uh, B here, we have to use uh, C. Okay, let's try to uh, overwrite over there and by using uh, another color here. Okay, so rather than uh, minus 5 here, it is uh, plus 5. Then, okay, the addition will make that one 8. Right? This component will be 8. And, okay, now, um, so that one uh, here, uh, okay, it is non-zero now because um, it's not essentially the same. So that here, sum will appear non-zero, which uh, that one is non-zero. So that, and this one uh, becomes a pivot in, in augmented uh, column. And so that there is no solution. Uh, the reason is zero becomes non-zero. It's nonsense. So uh, that means that C is not in the range of the transformation. Okay. So answer is uh, no. Okay. Among transformations, uh, we are uh, interested in. Uh, linear transformation. Uh, the reason is, in fact, metric transformation is linear. And we define the linear transformations officially in this way. But transformation T is linear if these two conditions are satisfied. And the vector addition and transformation is the same as for each one, we transform and later add. So, action of the transformation and addition are, are, are committing. And also here, scalar multiplication first or transformation first. So they uh, commit. In this case, these two are satisfied. Then we say, the transformation is linear. And particularly, metric transformation is a linear transformation. We'll see uh, examples later on. Okay. Now, uh, once uh, these two are satisfied, then this one must be satisfied. And by choosing C equals zero, and that becomes zero and right side, no matter what U is, because the C is zero, the right side must be zero. So it is must be satisfied. Also, this must be satisfied. This is uh, addition and scalar multiplication, but their combined operation must be also satisfied. And if this is satisfied, then this two must be also satisfied. Here, once it is satisfied, then by choosing D is zero, uh, so uh, we eliminated this portion and that portion that is exactly the same as that. If we are choosing C and D one, then it becomes uh, that one. Uh, that means, these two conditions are 
the same is equivalent to this one condition. So in uh, most cases, we try to check only if uh, this condition then once this condition is satisfied, then we say that the transformation is linear. Okay, the linear transformation uh, is a kind of um, function here, uh, Ax. Uh, you learned this one from high school. Just simple line uh, passing uh, the origin of xy coordinates and slope a. This is a linear transformation. If you uh, put here cx1 plus dx2, then the function is uh, action of multiplication by a. So we have that. And by using here the simple rule, uh, we can reach uh, in this one. And then ax1 is same as f of x1. ax2 is same as f of x2 so that eventually this transformation uh, satisfies that condition. So it is a linear transformation. Okay, prove that a matrix transformation, uh, t of x equal ax is linear. Uh, it's quite easy to see here. t of cu plus dv so we are checking only this condition. Uh, that is now t is defined to be a multiplication of a. So we put here. Now we already know the matrix vector uh, uh, multiplication, the, this uh, uh, scalar value can go outside in front of a. So we reach uh, here and a of u is the same as t of u, and a v is the same as t of v. So this one is the same as that. So the condition is satisfied. So it is a linear transformation. Okay. And if we apply here uh, that argument again, again, repeatedly, uh, then uh, we can uh, get the following result. Here, p uh, combinations, combination of p vectors, then we can reach out that uh, right side. In engineering, uh, it is called a uh, superposition principle. Okay. Let theta be the angle measured from the positive x-axis counterclockwise then the rotation can be defined as here this one is made in this way okay uh, let's consider a circle over a radius one and then this is um, the first uh, uh, unit vector, E1, and that is now vertical unit vector, and E2. Uh, once it is uh, theta rotated uh, uh, counterclockwise, then we can reach out uh, that one go over there, and here this one will ro be rotated uh, in this direction. So that is now theta rotation and this point is exactly same as cosine theta sine theta and this point is minus sine theta cosine theta uh, so the first column comes from basically uh, e1 rotated by theta that one uh, came from uh, e2 after theta rotation. Okay. Okay, here describe all pi over 2 expressly. Here, uh, part 1. Okay. Now, R pi over 2 
pi of 2. That is same as the metric here, cosine pi of 2 and sine pi of 2. Now theta is pi of 2 and minus sine and pi of 2 and here cosine pi of 2. Okay, here cosine pi of 2 is 0, sine pi of 2 is 1 and negative 1 and this is 0. So that is uh, the metric representing pi of 2 rotation counterclockwise. What are images of um, 1, 0 and 0, 1? Okay, so here uh, that is part 1 and for part 2 and okay, we have to measure the, that pi of 2 and mm, 1, 0. Okay, the metric is given in this way, so 1, 0 uh, 1, 0, 1, 0, multiplication, and we can get 0 and 1. So here, geometrically, is quite uh, reasonable. 1, 0 is horizontal unifactor. Now, after pi of 2 rotation, it will become a 0, 1 vertical vector. Right? Now, how about uh, now the second one? All pi of 2 uh, with uh, 0 and 1, the vertical vector, and then 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, so that that will be minus 1, 0. Also, it is quite uh, reasonable geometrically. This is a vertical vector, and pi of 2 counterclockwise rotation will become uh, negative horizontal direction, right? And R theta, a uh, linear transformation, uh, yeah, it's a linear transformation, why? For any uh, theta, uh, it is a metric. So that one mm, here, R theta, as a metric transformation is linear transformation, right? Already we know that. Earlier here we uh, proved that. So R theta, uh, the transformation is um, uh, just a metric multiplication, so it must be linear, right? Okay, I added the one example. Mm, here, Euler like angles in uh, aerodynamics. When you are uh, trying to track uh, the location uh, of uh, airplane, then uh, there are three components for position x, y, z, and there are three angles. And now mm, that is okay. X direction is always the the front direction, so that is um, the roll direction, and pitches are uh, here head up and down direction, and U is now turning uh, 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 direction in this way. So we have here three angles: roll, pitch, U. For example, U uh, can be made in this way. Now that is not changing a uh, third component only is trying to make rotation in horizontal direction. This portion is exactly the same as now R theta. So we are using uh, psi, uh, but basically um, this one and that uh, horizontal rotation is the same. And in aerodynamics, if you track, uh, try to track uh, the position, then there are six degrees of freedom, X, Y, Z, and here, roll, pitch, and yaw. Okay. Okay, here we reach a true or false problem. A is a, a 3 by 5 metric, and the T is a transformation uh, defined by here, AX, and then the domain of T is R3. Is it true? 
And this is three by five metric. So there are five rows. So if it admits a vector, then the vector should have five components because there are five rows and metric vector computation, five row, so you need five components. So domain must be R5. So this given uh, statement is wrong. A linear transformation is a special type of function. Yeah, it's right, right? Transformation, and among them also uh, linear transformation is also a function but a special type of function. The superposition principle is a physical description of a linear transformation. Yeah, is correct. Every metric transformation is a linear transformation. Is uh, true. We prove that every linear transformation is a metric transformation. Uh, is true. Um, and linear transformation is not necessarily a metric transformation, but a metric transformation is linear, uh, like over there, but is the reverse is not necessarily true. This one is false. An example is a derivative. Okay, here, mm, when a uh, you are dealing with derivative, you learned this one. For example, an a f uh, plus b g, f and g are function a and b are scalars, then derivative of this combination is same as a f prime plus b g prime. You learned this one. So derivative operation is simply a linear operation. However, this derivative cannot be expressed as a metric uh, multiplication. So this statement is wrong. Okay, this is the end of the section. Thank you.